This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by Harry's. As 2015 comes to an end, we reviewed over 100 phones this year. I'm John Rittinger from Techno Buffalo, and these are my top five phones that we took a look at in 2015. Coming in at number five, the Moto X Pure. Motorola stepped up their game huge with this gen's Moto X while keeping everything that made the original great. The 5.7 inch screen's now QHD, the once super weak camera now packs an incredibly solid 21 megapixel sensor, the awesome gesture controls and ambient displays are still there, it's got a micro SD card slot, solid battery life, and quick charging. It also works on every single carrier here in the US, not to mention your competitive price points and Moto Maker, so you can make it look however you want. Number four, the iPhone 6S and 6S Plus. Apple spent this generation focusing on improving hardware and less on the design, as is pretty typical for the S iterations. With more RAM, faster processor, stellar battery life, better camera, and 3D touch, this gen's iPhone simply improved the experience from the 6 in almost every facet. Number three, the BlackBerry Priv. I love an underdog story, and the Priv is the Rocky of 2015. BlackBerry shift to Android was a long time coming. They delivered in fantastic fashion. With an almost stock Android experience, coupled with BlackBerry security, slight OS improvements, curved edges, a killer on-screen keyboard, which you should definitely try if you haven't, a full slide-out physical keyboard that doubles as a trackpad, the Priv might just put BlackBerry back on the map. Number two, the Galaxy S6 Edge Plus. For me, this is hands down the best looking phone of the year, especially all done up, all pretty and gold. Sure, the curved screen was of questionable utility, but for a combo of looks and killer specs, the S6 Edge Plus is really hard to beat. Samsung still makes the best screens, TouchWiz was done with a way lighter touch than ever before, and with Samsung Pay working on almost every terminal out there, this beauty queen is a phone to be reckoned with. Also of mention in the same family tree is the Stellar Note 5. It does this a little bit in the looks department, but adds S Pen functionality. And drum roll please, my number one phone of 2015, the Nexus 6P. If you asked me last year or any other year if I thought a Huawei built device would make it to my number one on the list, I'd say a resounding hails no. But Huawei and Google absolutely delivered here. The 6P is a perfect combo of form and function. It's thin, packs the latest Android has to offer, has a beautiful screen, great camera. The fingerprint sensor on the back is definitely a little bit weird, but it works, it takes some getting used to though. With a competitive price point, killer spec sheet, 6P is a phone to beat. Just don't try and bend it with all your might. So anyway, what do you guys think? Love to hear your thoughts on it. If we extended the list and did some honorable mention, we would have added the Nexus 5X and the LG V10 on here as well. But does your top five match ours? Leave them in the comments down below. I would love to hear all your thoughts and opinions. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. When I was about 14, I shaved my face for the first time. And if you've ever shaved any part of your body and shaved against the grain, that hurts. Uh, if you are shaving for the first time, second time, or maybe the thousandth time, you gotta check out our friends at Harry's. This holiday season, they've got some pretty cool gifts out there for the dude or even lady in your life. Holiday shaving sets start at just 15 bucks, and as a special offer for you, Harry's is gonna give you $5 off your first purchase when you go to harrys.com and enter promo code TECHNOBUFFLE. Head on out, economy shipping for the holidays end December 18th.